Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, look here. We got to enjoy by any of y'all seen the beer run that I did over the weekend. I was able to pick up as many of these as I wanted, as my pocketbook could afford. I ended up picking up five of these suckers. Uh, this is one of my favorite beers from Stone. And each one has been a little bit different. Uh, I was originally told it was basically the same recipe, but they're using different hops. Uh, it probably is the same recipe, but they're hopping it different and doing something different with it, with the beer, as far as I can tell from the taste. But they've all been wonderful. I mean, uh, uh, they've all been uh, either nines or tens. Most of them have been tens uh, for me. Uh, and this one, I was able to get my hands on fairly early. Uh, and this is not a real pricey beer. For what it is, it's a 9.40% ABV. And the beer store that I went to over the weekend had it for $7.99 a bottle. And they had as many as you wanted. wasn't no lemon on it. Uh, I guess the only lemon is, is how many of they, they had there. But a lot of these places, uh, they'll only let you have a couple of them. Or, or, or when you call them, we got one left. Or we uh, the last one went yesterday. Or whatever. They, they got the sad face and telling you... Uh, that, that they can't get it or you're limited to what you can get. So I, I picked up five of these uh, and and to have this uh, enjoy by date is 1226 which is the day after Christmas and we're not even into the 26th of November I'm sure I won't have a problem drinking the other uh, the other four of these after today before Christmas gets here. So, but that being said, let's get on with this one. Uh, I don't want this to be a 20 minute video. I've already told you the ABV and I've read you the same description and um, you have in your hands a devastatingly fresh IPA. While freshness is a key component of many beers, especially big century four IPAs, we've taken it further, a lot further in this IPA. You see, we've specifically brewed it not to last. We've, only, we've not only gone to extensive length to ensure that you're getting this beer in your hands. Within an ex extraordinarily short window, we made sure the enjoy by date isn't randomly etched in any tiny text somewhere on the label. To be overlooked to all the most attentive of retailers and consumers, instead, we sent a clear message with the name of the beer itself. It's no better time than right now to enjoy this IPA. And it does have a bottled on date, but let me see if I can read it. Bottled on... November 13th of 2014. November 13th. It's barely a week old. Just a little bit over a week old. We're just saying, what is the date? The 20, 21st? I'm thinking it's somewhere in the 20s there. I'm not exactly sure. They all run together when you get old like I do. And I don't have a calendar in front of me to actually look at the date or my cell phone or whatever. But, uh, I'm reviewing this on Monday, and you'll probably see it on Wednesday. So, uh, very fresh beer, especially to, be, to come from all the way from California and get my hands on it this quick. I am glad that they decided to include Virginia in on this uh, in this batch that they sent out. So, uh, food pairing is going to be your typical IPA food pairings, guys. Your uh, cuisine is barbecue, cheese and pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, and the meat is grilled meat, uh, game, and salmon. Glass of our Snifter Tulip Oversized Wine Glass. I got my double glass. And it says can be cellared, but I would not cellar this. Drink it as fresh as you can possibly get your hands on it. And if you buy multiple bottles like I do, drink it before the 26th. That's when they want you to have it by. So I'm going to do my damnness. Don't think it'll be a big problem drinking the other ones before day after Christmas. So, With that being said, let's pop the cap on this puppy and see if it's as good as the rest of them have been. Nice little hit. Smoke out of the top. And this is a bomber, so I'm going to save the other half of the glass. 
of that aggressive pour, about a finger and a half of head, and it is crystal clear, guys. It looks marvelous in the glass. And it is a rich golden, not quite to the uh, deep amber, but it is an amber colored beer. A lot, uh, a lot deeper color than the macro lager. So, uh, a lot of bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the head. Let's get a nose on this one. <sighs> These beers do not disappoint. They don't disappoint me whatsoever. Citrus, pine, grapefruit, mango, pineapple, oranges. Oh. That's why I bought five of these guys. I knew this was going to be an awesome beer. And like I said, it's $7.99 a bottle. You can't go wrong. I mean, for a 9%er, that's less. Figure eight bucks a pop, that's, that's $4.00 per uh, 11 ounces. Uh, for a nine and a half, almost nine and a half percent beer, and of this magnitude and this quality, it's awesome. It's delicious. Uh, if it come to this state every time it was released, and I could get my hands on this many, I would probably buy this many, especially being as fresh as it is right now, barely over a week old. So, mm, Time to taste it! Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is so good. I'm hooked on these beers. I mean, I really, really, really like them. I mean, every time I get one that's as fresh as this is, which has been very rare, most of the ones I get are right at the end of their enjoy by date before I finally get my hands on them, whether uh, the stores finally get get one or two that I can get my hands on. I've actually had the stores, I've actually had one of the Kroger's promise me them, and it was going to save me two or three and got over there and somebody snatched them off the girl's desk and I didn't even get any of them out on that back. So. And I had one of my subs say, oh, I'll send you one. And he sent me one. And, and uh, Nate has sent me, me, sent me some. So uh, when I get these beers, I, I tend to go a little overboard. Uh, if I hadn't bought so many of the other beers, I'd have probably bought a case of them, guys. I really would have. It's that tasty to me being a hophead that I am. I could drink this beer every day. I really could. Wow. It is so pleasant. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. And look at the lacing it's leaving on the glass. Very well made beer from those guys at Stone. Greg and Mitch, uh, both got it going on out there. He, Greg's got a whale of a, a company going on out there. And Mitch... And his associates, uh, they do the brewing out there. Uh, you have to know how to brew a good beer. And they brew a lot of different beers. Uh, and I've got another one of their, uh, uh, I don't know, what, a, what would you call it? Uh, so Chastity Project beers in there. So we're going to be doing that here in the next couple of weeks too, guys. And uh, checking out what it is. But I wanted to get this. And like I said, just got my hands on it on Sunday. And I want to do it pretty, pretty fresh, as fresh as possible. So, this is this is this is uh, this is the ultimate double IPA to me. It is it is freaking awesome, guys. Very tasty. Well, let's let it warm up and let me shut my gums here and uh, take it back and let her have a, a glass of this, and we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on it. But it's definitely a damn a beer. More than likely, I'll get to ten. I'm gonna let it warm up, see where it ends up. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on this probably about 45 minutes. It's damn delicious. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say except this is probably my favorite double IPA. It really is. So glad I picked up five bottles. Well, I've got four left now. May even go back and pick up some more over the weekend if it's still available. Uh, this is awesome, guys. To me, it is perfect. Uh, it's got everything that you want in a double IPA. I'm not getting any of the alcohol for 9.4%. The citrus, citrusiness, citrusiness, and the floralness with the pine and the grapefruit and the oranges and mango 
and pineapple and oranges. I mean, it's got everything going on in this very, very tasty and very fresh. Here being the 24th of November when I'm reviewing it, uh, and it was put in the bottle on uh, November the 13th, I think it said here. Yes, the 13th. So, uh, 11 days from bottle to Virginia and reviewing it. And actually, 10 days because I, I picked it up on Sunday and I'm reviewing it on Monday. So, uh, very quickly brought across the country. And I don't know how long they had it at the store. So, uh, it may have been there uh, a day or two before I even got there. So, very quick distribution from them to go all across the country to the warehouse and then to the uh, to the store and uh, I applaud them for getting it, that stuff from California to Virginia and to the store and into my hands that fast I mean that's that's freaking awesome so let's do the final chug on this one I love it. I love it. It's a 10 for me, guys. Uh, Y'all probably already guessed that already, but it is. It's 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 damn delicious. It's uh, probably my favorite double IPA. It really is. Uh, be so glad once they start construction of the brewery in Richmond that we'll be able to get every edition of this because some of these have been uh, not sent to Virginia and uh, had some of my subs uh, send me the ones that weren't and. I've enjoyed every one of them. Some of them have been a little danker than others, and but all of them have had that wonderful citrusy, pineapple, piney, tropical fruit notes going on in it. So I loved it, guys. So 10 for me. Over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says, if I can get the tablet to work, it looks like it's maybe froze up. It is. Don't you love electronics? <laughs> It's froze up. It's froze up. It's in a deep freeze, guys. Uh, and it's froze up on rate beer. So I can't give you the beer out because I think I had 99 on their uh, on their scale, which is outstanding, world class. And over to rate beer, it has overall 100 and 100 in the style, and it's 100 for me too, guys. So it is definitely worth picking up if you're a hop head and you can get your hands on this and you haven't tried it. What are you waiting on? You're gonna love it. Uh, it's pretty damn tasty, guys. So, another uh, another perfect score for the Enjoy By series for me. I loved it. So I'll be sipping on the other four over the next month, and like I said, I might try to pick up a few more. So, don't know if we'll get a ten tomorrow, but we're gonna take that walk and see what's in the fridge. Hope you can join me then. <laughs>